Hello. Welcome to building my computer. Yay! Um, so today we're gonna build the computer. It's not gonna be fully functional, but I thought, you know, we're gonna we're gonna build it and then next week when I get my SSD, then it'll be up and running. We don't have to worry about anything. It'll be good to go. You know, it'll it'll be a good time. It'll it'll be a, a great time. Um, I've been working on this for so long. Since I started streaming, I think I've talked about building a new computer so that you guys could have better streams. And it is finally happening. Finally. So I have some tools here today. I've got some little little baby screwdrivers. I'm holding it because I don't want them to fall out. Um, I've got a big boy screwdriver. I've got this hammer that turns into many screwdrivers in case I have one that's not the right size. Um, I'm going to go over the parts and then the parts that I'm going to be purchasing at a later time. There's a couple of them um, that should take me about... Well, since I'm getting my SSD next week along with I have to get a wireless adapter because I am not able to connect to Ethernet. So, yeah, we're going to work on that. But um, let me go over the pieces that I already have. And I have my phone to... Um, I'm slowly... Let me... I, I bought majority of this stuff on Amazon, so I will leave links in the description for everything that I... I'm just gonna sit like this. This makes more sense, right? We'll use the chair in a moment when you don't need to see my face and we're just building this thing. Um, so I bought majority of the things on Amazon and I will tell you the price that I paid for each thing. This entire build will come out to about $1,500, give or take. Not entirely sure how my entire cost is, but you know, we're gonna work with it. Sorry I look gross. I just... I'm excited. I wanted to build this thing, so we're going to build it. Um, first thing that I will say, because yes, case. Ugh. The case we have here is the NZXT H500i in white and black, because I... I that was the first thing I picked out for this case, and thank you to uh, Crazy Frank for helping me with the build, because he is a very nice dude, and he helped me with everything so that I didn't have to, uh, you know, go too crazy. <sighs> I didn't go too crazy, and, uh, you know, I stayed within my means, and he helped me to make sure everything that I picked worked perfectly. I have a PC part picker list that I'll also add in there if you guys want to see that. Um, but for for the that thing, yes. Um, for the case, I paid one hundred and five dollars. I think currently it's available for ninety nine one hundred. Um, yeah, I got that. And then I also got these Arctic P12 silent fans. I got two of them to put on the front because airflow is important. So, yes. Um, these, I believe, were... Let me double check here. Should have written this all down. Um, these were... Seven fifty a piece, and I got two of them, so that's like fifteen dollars for two of those. I got the Corsair Vengeance LPX sixteen gigabyte RAM running at thirty two hundred megahertz. Um, highly recommend. I paid a hundred and twenty five dollars. For these, I believe they are on sale right now as well for less, but you know. I bought P12 
piece by piece. Next thing I have here is the Corsair Hyper 212 Evo uh, CPU cooler. This is pretty cool, pretty great. This is the one thing on the build that never ever changed. Um, so yes, that I believe, let me double check here. Beep, bop, boop. Computing, computing. I paid $30 for this. Um, and then on to more excitements here. Yes, okay. Then we have this beautiful piece of equipment. This is the Asus Tough Z370 Plus Gaming Motherboard. Um, it comes with RGB. I didn't realize that until yesterday, which it's like been a month since I bought that, so I'm excited. Um, I believe I paid $134 for this motherboard. It comes with a five year guaranteed reliability warranty so i recommend it pretty cool pretty sweet um and then the last thing that i bought on amazon was the evga oh, supernova 650 gold g3 uh 80 plus yeah 80 plus gold uh what is this power supply yes my dad's playing Dota. Excuse him. Uh, oh, my legs hurt. Okay. Yeah, I paid $96 for that. And then that ends everything that I got on Amazon. The last thing that I purchased yesterday, it says $299.99 on here. It's normally $300. This is the Core i5-9600K. Um, this, I paid... Two hundred and twenty dollars for. Yes. Oh my God, I'm out of breath. <sighs> yeah, we have that. Um, much excitement. I'm gonna start doing this. I'm gonna tilt the camera down so you guys can see what I am doing. But I'm pushing a lot of stuff off to the side so that we can get ready to do things. These. Are gonna go in when I open the case along with the power supply um, and then I'm keeping all the other stuff kind of separated okay so I've opened a couple of these boxes before to make sure that like there's everything I need is in them and I don't need to open anything else and so on and so forth I have a couple SATA cables here. Let's pull this puppy out. Woohoo! Put that down. It comes with a DVD that I am not able to use because I don't have a DVD port. And it comes with stickers. Pretty stickers. Is that battery decals? Hell yeah. We're going to put stickers on my battery, Dad. Okay, that's everything in the box. Now we need the box, don't we? Because we built on top of the box. And then I've been watching a lot of Linus Tech Tips and Jay's Two Cents and other, what is it, Bitwit on YouTube building computers because I want to make sure I was doing this correctly. But let's uh, slide that back. And look into here. User manual. Okay. Oh, this is how to install the bracket. Okay. Warranty. <coughs> bracket thingies. Some little nubbins. I guess step one would be put in the CPU. Recording.
Now I've been told you can either pull off the black part here or you can leave it on and then when you close it, it'll pop off by itself. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it on. And if I do see correctly, the little triangle is right there in this corner, which means that I have to align it in there. How do I get this out? There's a lot of pins on here. And I know you're not supposed to touch the front or the pins. You're only supposed to grab it from the side so you can position it and let it kind of fall into place. But I'm really nervous. Um, did I mention this is the first time I've like built, built a PC? I've handled the tools with some of my dad's other PCs, but I think I stuck around for like 10, 20, maybe like 30 minutes at most at a time before I finally gave up. I was like, this is boring. I want to go play dolls. I was that young when he built them. So, um, yeah. Why don't they involve words? Why does it all have to be an Ikea drawing type thing? Like, you, you can't even... I don't... These are helpful, but also not helpful. You know? Instructions, please, that are written down so that I know I'm doing this 100% correctly. That would be nice. Thank you. It's in! Wow! It's off. I'll sit over there. Alright. Uh huh. Now for this, I guess. This is part seven. Part one. Taking off the fan. It. Set that down right there for a second. There we go. Okey 
this has to go in this direction. So I shall go in this direction. Sucker! Away! Good! Back is mounted! So this is the last step for me is the putting this on there and making sure it is in place securely. So now is the time where I put the thermal paste on which makes me very nervous. And it said to put a pea size amount on there. So that is uh, what we're going to do. That looks good. Right, Dad? This is a good amount of thermal paste. This is this is a big enough pee? Yes, that's all. Okay. bracket is not centered correctly, you have to make sure it's put in correctly. It's not. Do I need to chop off these cables, these thingies? No. The, not the tags that are on here? No, you do not. I feel like I do. BRB grabbing scissors. Thank God my nails are long right now. That's all I'm gonna say. Where are you going for the Okay, so we'll leave this guy on there. And I'm gonna coil him up so that he is not in the way. Looks good. I plugged it in. And I was like, 
I put, if this wants to look cleaner, like there's no wire coming out from over the top, I can route it underneath the fan and plug it in. And then, I, yeah. So this one is B2 H. Okay, let's get these puppies open. The heat sinks on these are wicked. They're really not. They're kind of bland, but I'm thinking I might upgrade to an RGB RAM later on. I just don't know if that's something I want to do yet, but we'll see. I'm, I'm debating whether or not to get my graphics card in white so it looks better, but um, okay, let's see. So. There's a little notch, little a little notch right right here. I covered it. Line that up here into the RAM. There's a little notch over here. You guys can't really see it, but I'm turning this towards me so I can put it in correctly. Uh huh. Okay, I thought this was gonna be the part I was most confident with. Um That is installed. That, that's my brother. Anyway, RAM installed. All right, guys. I think we're ready to break out the case. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. Out the way. I will definitely need that. Definitely need these right away. Tucker can't be over here. <laughs> I might need your help with this, though. I gotta take this out. It should all be in there first. No! That's not how you do yeah. it. Pull! So I built my PC. I've watched so many PC building videos at this point. It's not very nearly that hard. <laughs> Just plug it all in. Something. No! Cable management! You heathen! There's not very many cables. <laughs> you heathen! They're all connected to each other. Jesus. Ah. It's pretty. <laughs> it's small. It's... An ATX case. And then I need to get out the bracket here so that I can put in the uh, fans. What these we got? We've got some cables here and a box of fun things. I will place these back in here, but I'm going to lay this guy down so that we can uh, get started. trying to keep it all in one place, but my goodness. Okay. First things first. This has to go in. There we go. Ow! 
fair. I do believe that is in place now. Yes, it is in place. Good, good. Let's see what goodies we got. Ties, pretty sweet, okay. And a manual. There's like a whole bunch of screws in that little tie box as well. Seriously. There, is it in place now? Nah. There we go! Woo! Okay, so there's one that we don't need to screw. Apparently. Quite a few little cable ties. Very nice. I was gonna buy like a 50 pack of them, so it's nice I don't have to actually buy them. I don't know what this is, but okay. KB screws. This is an extra standoff. I'm assuming these are the motherboard screws, but I'm just going to double check here. One done. Done. Now, for those screws that want to screw you over. done with screwing in the motherboard holy shit that took too long I'll just tie it down like this so that it doesn't hit it works for me That's done. Now for Ugh. the fun time of putting the other fans in. But I also want to make sure that when I install them that these guys can reach to the appropriate area. 
which I can route this through the back and everything, but there's one here. So that's possible. That's for water pump. Okay, so this needs to be able to reach fan boy over here. This is a three peg fan. That's another fan. Facing like this with the back to the inside so that things will work. And I can put it underneath here and route it through there. Or to the bottom one will work. There is one. Okay, so that should do for those. Now we move on to the power supply. So I undid the little cables that they had back here, the twist tie ones, because I want to put in um, these guys on there. And also the power supply comes with a couple of things as well. I'm not too sure what some of these are. Okay. But we have these cool little things that connect. SSDs go here, which you just clip them on and off. I might move these to the front so they sit on um, underneath the motherboard, but we'll see. As for power supply, everything in here. We have the power supply itself that I shall take out. It's a solid piece here. Pretty cool.
Then we have the wall adapter plug-in here. I bought some more little SATA cables just in case I didn't have enough. And then here's everything else in the box. So, first things first. Where's the manual? So this is the manual that comes in it. I uh, had it out yesterday because I was looking through, making sure I had everything in here, double checking things, so on so forth. Um, but there's like an eco button on here too that I thought was pretty cool. Um, so all of the things that we are going to need for this, obviously the power cable, which I will put off to the side. This is the motherboard cable. This is for the CPU. Two VGA cables, and I don't know what, we'll leave those over here. SATA. Um... Parif. And another little thing here, and some uh, cloth ties. Okay. 